that is Florida's oldest child service agency, dedicating a recently renovated cottage. It's going to become a home for children who have mental health and intellectual disabilities. On your side, Zatia Collins got a look into the space before it opened up, before everyone else did. She's going to give us a sneak peek. She joins us now from Jacksonville South Point, that area with much more. Yes, this dedication is happening later this afternoon. The cottage nearby, it's actually on Belfort Road right around the corner here in the South Point area. Now, not only will this new facility be a residential home for locally abused youth, but it will also provide therapeutic services. And in the case of one family I talked to, these cottages really connect children with their forever homes. If it wasn't for Daniel Kids, Emily Smith would have never met her daughter. We began as her mentors and we started meeting with her every single week. And you're talking about this shy little girl that would hide behind. She would hide behind some of the, the workers that were there and her therapist. And she had she had been through so much. The Smith family soon fell in love and the adoption was finalized in 2020. We've never heard of Daniel before. And it, it was amazing to be able to see so many people there just for these kids around the clock and it, they were teaching them true life skills. The nonprofit started as an orphanage in 1884. Today, over a century later, it helps over 5,000 locally abused, abandoned and neglected children every year. We've just seen an increase of a, of a need over the last several years and knew that we needed to develop a program that really could just serve the unique challenges that these youth face. These beds are empty now and the furniture is still going into place, but the new cottage will house youth ages 16 to 18 with mental health and intellectual disabilities. Providing the the space that these children need um, that so they can come here and heal and get back out into the communities, be it foster care or their adoptive homes or their family homes. And leaders hope to have the cottage open and accepting teenagers at the end of this summer. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News on your side.